six seconds before launch in the shuttle, the engines start to light, and when the engines light, it bends the whole thing. So you can actually feel the whole vehicle sway away from you as the engines light. You watch the launch pad disappear out the window. By the time we clear it, we're going 100 miles an hour straight up. You accelerate in just such a brutal manner. You are, the vibration is so high, and it, it's not like an airliner that kind of flops along through the sky. This thing moves like a tuning fork. 45 seconds, you're going faster than the speed of sound, straight up. Faster than Chuck Yeager did, uh, and you're accelerating. And in 70 seconds, you're faster and higher than the Concorde. And it's a brutal physical ride as you're shouldering your way through the air. The shuttle is an ungainly vehicle. It's a big, bulbous, uh, whale-like tank and the two solids and then the, the, the kind of blunt instrument that the shuttle is all bolted together. So it shakes and pushes. And then after two minutes, the solids have done their jobs. Those huge candlesticks are out of fuel and they explode off. They've got you above the air. They fall down gently under a parachute back into the ocean to get reused again. And now it's liquid drive and you're just getting pushed above the air faster and faster and faster and getting pinned heavier and heavier and heavier in your seat. Like someone was just pouring sand on you as you just get more and more crushed in your chair. And it just gets harder and harder to breathe and it lasts another six minutes and, and 40 seconds of this steadily increasing weight on you as you're getting crushed. And you're having to fight for every breath until the vehicle gets to the limit of the G that it can take. The engines are so powerful that they can rip the uh, engines out and off the vehicle. And so it goes back to hold 3G. We're all ready to do that by hand if we need to. And then suddenly, at 8 minutes and 42 seconds, the gas tank is out of fuel and the engine shut off and you're weightless. The first thing you notice is that everything starts floating up in front of you. The checklist that you were holding in your hand floats someone just repealed the law of gravity and, and everybody laughs in the whole cockpit everybody laughs partially out of nervous relief but partially out of unbidden delight at the fact that uh, that suddenly things are way different you have a sense of of a blackness that goes on forever and it's not just the sky above you but it's it's half of your entire sight it's it, it stops your thought you know it is the it, it is one of those things like when you hear some gorgeous music or see the most beautiful person you've ever seen or a sunset or whatever that is it, it just you want to grab somebody and go look at that that's what it's like to go to space